And how did we get to this place? This is a Richard video. This is how the U.S., how did we get to this whole Ukrainian conflict? It was a color revolution orchestrated by Jake Sullivan, who's in that picture, wanting to send missiles deep into, British missiles, deep into Russia. Jake Sullivan right there. And Victoria Nuland, uh, John McCain, Lindsey Graham, and the, and the Obama administration orchestrated a color revolution inside of the Ukraine in 2014. Here's just a little snippet. This is why we are where we are right now. We are there right now because what happened was is you had a pseudo, what they would call pro-Russian, duly elected. That's when they had elections. Now we're fighting for the we're fighting in the name of democracy for a country that has no elections. In 2014, they elected a prime minister who was deemed to be pro-Russian. He put that, can you side by side that one, Aaron? Just that pick right there you got? That's that's Victoria Newland. And Victoria Newland, who basically runs the United States of America, just so you know, this fat little Miss Piggy, she runs the United States of America. <laughs> not the Marine Corps, not the hoorah Marine Corps, the Coast Guard or the Navy. Not even the president. It's basically people like Victoria Newland, deep state globalist WEF actors, Victoria Newland. They orchestrated a color revolution because the prime minister in 2014 was deemed to be too pro Russian. You know what you want to be if you're in Ukraine? And when Aaron put up the picture last night, we got Russia versus Ukraine. You're going to want to have diplomatic ties to Russia if you're in the Ukraine. Here's what they did. Play for me, Ness. What do you think? I think we're in play. Um, the the uh, Klitschko piece is obviously the complicated electron here, um, especially the announcement of him as deputy prime minister. And, and you've seen some of my notes on the troubles in the marriage right now. So we're trying to get a read really fast on where he is on this stuff. But I think your argument to him, which you'll need to make, I think that's the next phone call we want to set up, is exactly the one you made to, to Yachts. And I, I'm glad you sort of put him on the spot on where he fits in this scenario. And I'm very glad he said what he said in response. Good. So uh, I don't think Cleet should go into the government. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you think – what, in terms of him not going into the government, just let him sort of stay out and do his political homework and stuff. I'm just thinking in terms of sort of the process moving ahead, we want to keep the moderate Democrats together. The problem is going to be Tony Book and his guys. And, you know, I'm sure that's part of what Yanukovych is calculating on all of this. Um, I'm I, kinda, I, I, just, I think Yats is the guy who's got the economic experience, the governing experience. He's, he's the guy, you know, what he needs is Cleach and Tony Book on the outside. He needs to be talking to them four times a week, you know. I, I, I just think Cleach going in, he's going to be at that level – Working for Yatsenyuk, it's just not going to work. Yeah, no, I think that's you know? I think that's right. Okay, good. Well, do you want us to try to set up a call with him? Is the next step? My understanding from that call, but you tell me, was that the big three were going into their own meeting, and that Yats was going to offer in that context a, a three-way, you know, the three plus one conversation or three plus two with you. Is that not how you understood it? No, I think, I mean, that's what he proposed, but I think just knowing the dynamic that's been with them where um, Klitschko has been the top dog, he's going to take a while to show up for whatever meeting they've got, and he's probably talking to his guys at this point. So I think you reaching out directly to him helps with the personality management among the three, and it, and it gives you also a chance to move fast. Just very briefly, because I'm running out of time, but just very briefly, they just caused this color. I mean, first of all, you're hearing these two people, one of them, Victoria Newland orchestrating a coup for a foreign government in a foreign in a foreign country who are they who are we i, I thought we were aren't, aren't we called a democracy or democratic or constitutional republic yeah. who are we to be installing our leaders in ukraine and by the way the reason why there was an opening it was because they had the the current prime minister in 2014 removed how did they do it it's it's, it's what's called a color revolution all you have to do is cause an insurrection. You have to cause mass upheaval. How did they do it? Very simple. This should sound eerily familiar to everybody. Ready? Here it goes. They said, and by the way, Victoria Newland was on the ground handing out water bottles to the insurrectionists. 
on the ground. You saw some of those mass crowd pictures. Victoria Newland was out there handing out cookies. I'm not kidding you. Cookies and water to these people. What they said was, they said, you know what? Have this mass. They, I don't wonder if they said peace, peacefully and patriotically protest. Oh, no, they didn't. But anyway, they organized this mass demonstration against the government. And then our government tells, the this is the current government that's in place, the one that they overthrew. They tell that government, make sure that you're not overly violent now with the protesters, right? That's what they do. And then they cause, thank you, Aaron, proof right there. There they are, handing out cookies and water. There are the two idiots on the phone right there. There they are. Victoria Newland. Who is she? Who is Miss Piggy? By the way, she's put on about 50 since that picture. But anyway, so they say to the government, you can leave that up. I'm perfectly happy with that being there. <laughs> they say to the government right here, they say, you know what? Make sure that you're not overly aggressive or violent with the protesters. Well, what do they do then? They cause the protesters to be violent so that the police have to defend themselves. Does that sound familiar to you, Aaron? Mm -hmm. That sounds very familiar to three years ago, three and a half years ago, doesn't it? Yep. Called 1-6, where you're sitting there and you watch, ever watch all the 1-6 the rewinds where everybody's peaceful until they start shooting people with rubber bullets and, and uh, lobbing gas grenades into the, into the crowd? And those gas grenades are steel and hitting people. Tear gas grenades, they're actually, they're steel and they're lobbing them in like grenades. These guys are real, just Capitol Hill police officers throwing them in the Metro Dade police, I mean, not Metro Dade, Metro DC police officers throwing them in the crowd, hitting people with steel grenades and, and, and tear gas. That's what they did. So they caused this violent, get ready, Aaron, insurrection. Mm. There, there she is. Caused this insurrection and then they installed yachts in the yook so that they all could continue their various criminal enterprises inside of Ukraine. Have another war. So that now they get an anti-Russian government in under Yaksenyuk, controlled by Victoria Nuland, so that they can lay the groundwork. Now, all the while this is going on, you have Metabiota, which is sharing its biological experiments with the Wuhan Institute of Bio uh, Virology and the Chinese Academy of Sciences. And Metabiota is partially owned by... Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden doing his corrupt banking at Privat Bank. Hunter Biden receiving $85,000 a month from Burisma Fossil Fuel Company, Natural Gas and Fossil Fuel Company. So now they, they don't have to worry about Russia having great diplomatic ties with Ukraine and any investigations at all. Now they can just play the Russian card again. We need to shut down Ukraine and make them as anti-Russian as we can. Get them under American control so that we can continue our criminal malfeasance. Does that make sense, Aaron? Yeah. There you go. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. And we're going to go fight for democracy, says Lindsey Graham. Says Mitch McConnell. Says all the compliant, ankle-grabbing Republicans on Capitol Hill. The only people with guts are like, like uh, Chip Roy and Marjorie Taylor Greene. And Matt Gates actually will come out and say this war is ridiculous because it was caused by Victoria Newland. So she, because she gets paid millions of dollars to cover up Democratic Party, rhino Republican, and globalist criminal malfeasance inside of Ukraine. Now they're going to burn Ukraine to the ground so so that the International Monetary Fund, which is which is basically owned and operated by BlackRock, which is the culmination, which is the coming together of governance and corporations, which is, which is Nazism, which is fascism, and they're going to rebuild all the companies that are being hired by the IMF to rebuild Ukraine are owned by BlackRock. 